I'm here today in front of the International Telecommunication Union with Sabin Zermas, the chair designate of the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference, ITU's highest governing body. Welcome, Sabin. Thank you, Monica, for inviting me. You will be welcoming in a few months, from 26 September to 14th October, the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference, more than 2,000 delegates to Bucharest, Romania, the host country. So at the last plenipotentiary conference, we broke records in gender balance. And this, this time, we not only want to aim for more than 35% of women delegates, among all delegates, but also that they assume uh, chairing roles in key committees and working groups, and that they mainstream gender in ITU, uh, PP decisions and resolutions. So what's your perspective on this, Sabin? I'm more than happy to be part of this because we are moving forward. We are, we are beyond the, all the resolution that we are having debates here. We are talking about gender equality, we are talking about youth, we are talking about gre green and so on. This is great. I think it's for the first time in the PP history when we uh, are having a, a plan to encourage and training uh, for the women delegates to take uh, position in the leadership uh, uh, during the PP. And we are thinking about not having just uh, uh, a balance in the number of delegates, both women and men, but also in having, uh, as you said, uh, women take, taking position of chairs of the committees or vice chairs to uh, represent the, the countries, the delegations, and to have more power during the conference. And uh, another important thing is that uh, we need to think on long term. I mean, we need to have this as a legacy for the ITU. Uh, this kind of process should last. It's not just a one-time event that stops there because we are not, not going to achieve any results if we don't have a long-time strategy. And uh, as I said, a, a legacy from this event from the ITU. Thank you, Sabine. So you just said uh, that you're doing this in a long-term perspective. Uh, so ahead of the conference and during the conference, what can the host country do? What is the host country doing to make the conference gender responsive? As this conference is in Romania, I think uh, Romania uh, should do everything to support other countries to have events like Australia is doing. They, they are providing a training during the conference and prior to the conference for women in general. Uh, we as a country uh, have to support all the events that have, have real impact on, on this as well. But I have to add something about Romania and this is going to surprise you a bit. We are in the second place in Europe when we're talking about equal pay for equal work. And we all are aware that beside all the politics, all the strategies, the real facts like equal pay for equal work is very important as well. You can see in my team, I think leading by example is something that everybody should do. Uh, you can see my team, which is, so I'm, I'm, I have a team of uh, real professional and great women which are supporting me during this preparatory process. And uh, I think there are both in government and both in private sector in Romania, you can see that Romania is, doing, is performing real well. I mean, a lot of women uh, involved in ITSC in general and uh, doing great, just great job for our country or for our government as well. You'll see this uh, at the PP as well, because they are not only uh, in uh, technical uh, people involved, uh, but also uh, in the preparatory process, in the leadership position, you'll, you'll see a lot of women in, uh, involved from Romanian side. I can confirm that. Uh, we have been working with competent and charming women around you. And we will catch up later with uh, Sabine again when we talk about how to make PP as green and inclusive of use as possible. Thank you, Sabine. Thank you, Monika. This is the assembly hall of the International Telecommunication Union at uh, ITU headquarters here in Geneva, where we catch up again with Sabin on how to make PP inclusive of use. How can we engage young people in that conference and beyond? ITU with uh, Rwanda will be hosting a Generation Connect Global Youth Summit from 2nd to 4th of June just in a few months, ahead of the World Telecommunication Development Conference in Rwanda, Kigali. As for Romania, how is Romania making sure that the voice of young people is heard at a conference, Sabin? I'm thinking now about the resolution 198, which is the empowerment of youth. 
and how the the young people can contribute to, to that. I expect that young people from all regions will will have a real contribution to this resolution because they are entitled to do that. They are fresh mind. They 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 have a different approach, and that it's it's something that they can provide to the ITU and to the society in in general. I think also it's important to add uh, what are we doing as a country, as a host country, and what I'm doing as a chairman of the conference in order to promote the young, the youth, the young people, not just uh, in the ITU, but to promote the ITU to the young people. We are trying to use the channels that they are using to get informed. We are trying to use social media, to use TikTok, in order to show them what's why it's important ITU, why it's important what's happening here. We are going to be in universities to explain to the, the young people, to the students, uh, what's happening at the plenipotentiary in, uh, in, uh, in Romania, how could they engage in this process and how could they help, uh, let's say, not only by contributing to a specific resolution, because no, not every one of them will have the chance to do that, but just to get in touch with this ecosystem, with, with an institution of United uh, Nature, Nation as uh, ITU is. Thank you, Sabin. And now the first delegates are coming back uh, to the plenary because uh, right now ITU Council is taking place here at ITU and we're moving on and we will catch up again in no time. We are here at ITU headquarters in front of one of the brand new recycling stations. Sustainability is a big objective of the new ITU headquarters building, which is set to open its doors in 2027. Romania is set to open its doors to PP delegates uh, uh, late in September this year. And we're here again with Sabin to catch up on how Romania is making PP as green as possible. So Sabin. Hi Monica again. ITU is a UN institution and UN uh, proposed sustainable development goals. It's clear that we need to fulfill that, that goals. Uh, we, we need to stay with the agreement we have in, in Paris for uh, having a, a green world in the end. So we s set up some, uh, some goals for the ITU like uh, reducing the electricity con uh, energy consumption during the PP, uh, which is not easy having such a big venue, but uh, it's it's a chance for the, the venue itself and for, for the events itself to to, to have this. Um, uh, having electric cars for the transportation of all the delegates, it's not possible to have 100% just electric cars, but we are uh, having a partnership with uh, some companies that can provide us uh, electric cars to have a green transportation. Trying to recycle biodegradable products uh, and uh, beside this using technology in all the, aspect of the, uh, all the aspects of the, of the conference. Uh, I mean, I'm basically an IT guy. I'm using no paper uh, during the conference. I'm using all the tools that are, are, are useful. And you in the ITU, I've seen that are doing a lot of your work just uh, using electronic solutions, uh, online, online solutions most of the time. We are going to have an application with all the information about the, the event, so you don't need to print anything uh, for, for knowing what's happening next day, you're seeing an agenda and so on. Uh, the same application is going to uh, show you where you are in the parliament, because it's a huge venue, and it's going to help you to go from, from a room to, to the other, so probably we'll, we'll reduce a bit the signaling by, by paper and so on. So uh, all these things we are going to uh, help us in having a green PP. And I think having a green PP, it's, it's beyond the event itself because it's, it's giving, it's giving us, us a, a message to the ITU community in, in, in the way that we, we should stay with all, as I said at the beginning, all the sustainable development goals of the United Nations. Thank you, Sabin, and I'm very confident that uh, Romania is on track uh, to make PP as uh, gender responsive, green and inclusive of youth uh, as possible. Thanks for all the information, the explanations. And uh, to our stakeholders and ITU members coming to uh, PP, we also call on you on making uh, your contribution to making the conference green gender responsive and inclusive of use and we look forward to seeing you in Romania.